Hi guys and welcome back to another part of our Imperator Rome campaign. This is part 8 of our campaign and in the last part we took out um, Crete and we also had a few wars with Phrygia and Egypt and took a few of their bits of land in uh, the Aegean Sea here and we still got a little bit to take left but we will get to that in due course. And while we I am talking I'm going to get deal with those pirates and what we got here disloyal provinces Mosea is disloyal interesting okay so what's what's in Mosea it's Sir Dyke is the problem basically you're the only region in Mosea brilliant um well all I can offer is to um, convert people here do we have any are you just full of freemen wow just full of freemen so now it should be going up excellent just like that so that'll sort itself out you're still alive brilliant um oh yeah and we're rebuilding this we're building a new fleet to go over here Oh, did we just acquire a boat? Nice. Well, I'll take that. Um, and then you... <laughs> they want to ransom you. So they want... Ah, no. I'm okay. I don't even know how old this guy is. Now, Pausanias Epilomosid. Pretty sure this is the guy I just condemned to death um, show families um, he is where is he captured oh I can release him um, yeah I'll release him is his loyalty going up yeah I don't know really why you were in the prepolluted now have our angry because I could have done that ransom prisoner you're not even that good, so no, I'm going to leave you there. If you were very good, then I would have, but hey. Um, I don't actually have that religious power. Asclepius, Asclepian wise man, I don't have the uh, religious power, sorry. Um, 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 I would like to spend some stuff to get some more religious power. We'll spend that. There we go. I spent my money there instead. Oh, I've got cancer. I think I think I just got the cancer. So I'm going to get rid of that because we don't need that there. Um, these two kind of do need around just to make sure that everyone's loyal and happy. Ellis. Okay, we can attack you now. Take the rest of your land and I will do so. Um, you can come here. Right, invention. Assault ability, starting experience. I think I will go with some Trimean Discipline. So that will help my Trimeans get better. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, series. And if so, please leave a like and a comment about what you, what you enjoying so much. I'd like to hear, hear what you got to say. So we will uh, now attack Ellis and take their land. Ah, and it's just Ellis now. Oh, breaking truce. Brilliant. I can't do it yet, then. How long? Till three... Oh, so just a year. Excellent. Um, you go there, because you get no um, attrition from there. Okay. And then we've got more pirates. Keep on getting the experience, I guess, from killing pirates. It's always helpful. And Mosea is still getting better, so that's good. So, Phrygia has 32 boats. I'm on 42 boats. No, Ellis, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do it this time. Okay, so he lost most of his boats, and he's going over there. Okay. Excellent. We shall win this very nicely. And you go down there. Because I'm using this just to garrison uh, Crete. It's the, just in case Egypt decides to come for us again. Um, Pampelea. I imagine I could... I could actually attack someone like Pampelea. 
I don't know how many men you have. Six. And you're allied with these guys. I might actually get a claim against you and that just could be my way into... Could be my way into uh, Asia. Yeah, I might do that. I'll get a claim on Pamplia. It's a very strange thing to do, but it might work. Take that. Get that. And then Phrygia has one, three, two cohorts. Very little manpower. I'm sure I could do it. Third Stratos needs a new general. Oh, it's going to have to be this kid. Unless we give it to you, actually. Get show characters. Um, you. And grant you citizenship. Now we have a very loyal... Um, chap in charge. And some of the guys just died. Excellent. Um, it's gonna be you. I'm not very got very many good uh, holy men in charge, but hey, we'll do that. So while we, what are we gonna do while we wait? I could go for them now, I guess. Could go for them now. What have you got? Six and six, five, oh, five and six. Um, come out into the sea. And I'm going to need to build another army just to garrison that part of the world, though. Well, I could just, just use this one to garrison that part of the world. Um, so I will take them over there. And then I will declare war on them. So that is how we're going to do it. Oh, good thing I just like ran into some pirates. Just what I wanted to do when I had a whole army on there. Um, I will decimate. Because decimation is what happens to those that don't listen to us. Right, anyway, while that's happening, I'm going to build some more marketplaces. There we go. Money spent. And now we declare war on you for Pampalea. Um, just give him a job, perhaps later. He, ah, oh, but can't hold a candle. Um, I don't know what he's going for. I'm guessing he's going for researcher. So let's quickly look technology. Um, you, you are five to his four. I'd rather not put you in charge. I'll put perhaps later. Perhaps later you can be in charge. If you're good. So yeah, we're going to take this. We'll see if whether we can hold this and take this for Macedon. So anyway, I'm going to send you there. So now, how many men have you got? Oh, I want to see how many... Oh, they have seven now. This could be interesting. And ha what have you got? Seven as well. Eh, we should win. How good's this general? Six. Yeah, okay, we might be okay. Fifteen. Nine now. Interesting. It's going to be an interesting battle. Um, I'm going to demand your support for my heir because you're very, very old. Enemy captured. Commander of the First Navy. Interesting. Now I'll send you in there to go and siege on that. So we should win this very easily. Just going to quickly take that and then we've finally got a little footlock hold into uh, Asia. It's not how I really wanted to do it, but it's how we can do it. And then we can take that bit, and then we just have to hope Fridgy breaks up again. And if not, we just build a large amount of armies here, and um, we invade Fridgy that way. Though I would like to take Thrace out again. Do they have help? That would that might be my next aim, to take Thrace out. I'm going to go with Army Morale Recovery. Get that sorted. What size you got? 28. Ellis. We could also probably go to a war with Ellis while we were fighting this. 
Yeah, let's do it. Let's take Ellis out while we're, while we're doing that. So we'll do two wars at once. Unprecedented power. Unlimited power, some would say. That's better. Not unprecedented. Uh, Granary, we'll put that there because just make Pella more, I don't know, fertile. Also so it doesn't starve because I'll probably get a lot of slaves out of this war. Um, could just cheekily build a fortress here. That might, that would be funny. Build one there and then we can take all the land around them. Oh, we've just been defeated. Excellent. Well, it's really not, but hey. Um, can we quickly get on this boat? Yes, we can. I'm going to pull back and get... Um, I'm going to swap the armies around. Swap the armies around. Get this one. Send Harpalus. I'll send you. Oh, I'm definitely sending Harpalus. Because the other guy's got really good uh, morale. Or whatever. Not morale. Um, finesse, isn't it? Or ci yeah, it's civic power finesse. One or the other. Anyway, you go and take that. And then... Leaves us with very little... Could he win that? No, surely not. Surely he won't win that. 1,000 against 4,000. That would be impressive. Anyway, you go in there quickly. Go and take that. Um, knock him back. And then I will try again. Try again and take it. This time with more troops. I should go with the largest army. And then I'm going to use this army, the 6th Stratus, to garrison it. I don't know why we have the 6th. Can this be, please be the... I'll sort out in a minute. Don't like that. It's just annoying me. You should be the 2nd. 2nd Stratos. Oh, that's just not... No, that's just not right. Can't have Stratos 2nd. There we go. 2nd Stratos. And can you please just hurry up and get over there? Hurry up and get over there. Um, you should be third, Stratos. And you should be fourth, Stratos. And then we got it all sorted. Uh, fourth. Duh. No, that's... No, we'll not have none of that, please. Um, and you're sieging down here nicely. Um, what's this? Second, Stratos. We could... Uh, improve um, some of these armies, make them a bit bigger, so maybe put some more cavalry in this army. So that'll take it to 17,000. Make it 18,000 there. There we go. Um, and send you in there. I'm taking Olympia now. So we should just... Now we'll be able to control the Olympic Games by taking Ellis. And then we'll have just... Arcania left. And obviously these guys. Send a gift. They now like me enough and I will integrate them. Integrate them. Integrate them. Um Go here, take that. It's probably not the greatest move. Should probably go somewhere else, but hey. Who have we got here? The Argisaids. Who are you? Why is it not in also in order? Oh, okay. You're 17 years old and you need a roll. Okay, you're 9 to... Okay, we should win that, basically. Basically, we should win that. Right. Um, I'm going to try and beat you in combat because otherwise you're going to... Constantly getting stuff. Um, I will lose the legitimacy. Let the looting be gentle. Um, and go over here and take that. And then we can take... I bet we can just take it all anyway. Yeah, we can. And I will ask for as much money as possible. Excellent. Um, aggressive expansion down. And there we go. We're done. We've taken Olympia. Victorious. Um, Argos, I'd like to integrate you. Now, influence, start integration. Yes.
and it should take no time at all. Uh, where are you going? Actually, uh, go in there. Kill this one, take the capital, then take the fort. Should be the way. So yeah, they have 10, 3,000. Yeah, I'm probably going to kill them off now. They have no cohorts. Very little manpower. That's a victory in the east. We are finally going to be able to expand there. Finally. Um, and could I do the same here? Could I take them out? Probably could. Fabricate claim. The province of Epirus. Um, and what are you? Slaves need for surplus. Monthly loyalty. Tribute income. National Freeman. Um, I'm going to go with military tech investment. Because then that gets me more siege ability. Declare war on you. Take Epirus. There we go. Now we are just steamrolling a few a few places at a time. We're going to take that um, province. This will help take care of Cassander. Yeah, sure. We'll spend the um, religious power on helping Cassander get better. Oh, I have no um, thingy at the moment. No wonder I'm not on the greatest amount of money. Not on the greatest amount of money. Right, well, we'll spend more money on marketplaces then while we wait. Come on. Let's finish them off. And then we have just Athens in mainland Greece left to take. And I'm pretty sure we could do that. I want to say fairly easy now, but now that we've got a nice little land border with um, Phrygia, not a not a wise move. But hey, how many? We've got 80 cohorts. I'm going to go to war with Thrace, and then I will go to war with Athens. I think because then I can can attack Phrygia from two points, and hopefully by then I'll have a lot more manpower. Thrace needs a new governor. Um, now I'm going to give it to you because you're very much the man for the job. Arcania, nearly fallen, 84%. We are getting on, guys. We're doing well. What's going on over here? Oh my gosh, the Marian Revolt is doing some damage. Anyway, you're at 100 now. That was very quick. Get as much money as we can out of you. Not much. An aggressive expansion down. Um, sure, right. Okay, that's done. Then we're going to put you back up here to get ready for a war against Thrace. Go and take that. And I hopefully we'll take both of these and I can get Isaurian in, another, in a separate war as well. Oh, death. No. This guy's died. Oh, I'll have to put you in. You're not that great. Uh, I mean, I could just get another citizen to do it. I could grant someone else citizenship. I could give you a hyperstrated there. Um, I could give you another hyperstrated down here. Give you citizenship. And then I can't really strike the earth. Yeah, sure. Um, and I'd like to really if I have any children, arrange a marriage between how old are you? 42, 34, 27. Zeal. Um, I'll give it to you, the hyperstrated there. Why not? What can go wrong? <laughs> While we wait for stuff to happen, um, I don't really need this 22... I guess I could put it, I'll put it in Athens, on the border with Athens. If uh, they try anything, but I doubt they will. Um, what size army have you got then? 28. 28. 18. I'd like to get this bit up a bit more, but it's 4. Hmm, not really possible. I need some more techs that help with um, income. And some more religious power to really boost that income. But we'll get there. Anyway, more trade's always helpful as well. And if Fridgy keep bringing down their cohort size, that's always a bonus, I guess. 
Army maintenance has gone up though. Um. Oh, actually, no. Oh, we have a. Oh, we have a new Bezalius. My king's just died. Um, I will put you in charge. So now my ruler has no. Uh, Thirty six. Uh, arrange marriage. Um, age, please. I'd like the young one of the youngest possible. What are you then? Corruption up, but finesse and local unrest. Monthly corruption down. How old are you? 21, 20, 22. Charisma, zeal, monthly popularity and unrest. I'm going to go with you. There you go. No, and. Oh, yeah, I know we're at war. Okay, we have a new king. What is his name? Philip Antrimon. It's not giving number fours though, and like after that, like we had Philip the Fourth. I'm not getting like should we Philip the Fifth? They should do that because otherwise it's kind of just it's not a not losing any immersion from it, but I just feel like I'm lacking. I ain't got it. Um, yeah, put him there. Um, come on, take this quickly. I don't really want to carry on this war. I want to fight Thrace. Then fight. Phrygia, but we'll, we, I don't know if we'll get that done in, uh, this episode, we'll find out. We will indeed. Bezalius, omen power plus two. It'd be good if I had an omen, so I could use that omen power. Anyway, what we at now? Six. I will boost this army to two more heavy infantry. For freedom, yes, sure. You can always have a few more freemen. Because we're bringing in plenty of slaves from all these conquests. Macedon's looking very nice and bulky now. It's been a bit of a slow expansion to start with, but now we're get, gaining some ground. We are going to take this take this land in no time. Phrygia, mate, will be our biggest obstacle. After that, I think, since we'll have the power of this area, we'll be big enough to take on Egypt and Seleucids with no problem. He says. Eh, it, yeah, Egypt's looking pretty weak. So we'll take that and take that. All the money in the world we can get, which is not much still. Okay, right. Pause for a moment because we need to... Oh, what's this? Call for peace. Okay, yes. Well, we're just finished. Just finished. Um, I would rather not give it to you, to be honest. Is there... If I do this, then I can see Onomas... What are you good at? Onomasid. Um, I'll look for the Archid. Quickly. The Archid guy. Um, Archid, Archid, Archid. Here. Grant you citizenship. There we go. Archid, give it to you. Um, and then we want to do monthly tyranny. It's, well, we're not getting any tyranny. Omen power. Um, maybe siege engineers. Heavy infantry cost. That's possible. Um, maybe national citizen output. Get more income from just that. I'll keep this army here, I think. Because it could be handy. This fleet can just go into garrison here. For now. Yeah. And they have 32 now. Armistesia, how big are you and where are you? Oh my gosh, you're big. How big is your army? 50. Hmm. That could be interesting. I might need to send this army to the north then. Go deal with any invasion from them. But you're going to... You can defend this part. So we need like guy over here Stovey. right and then blessing of her Hades get some more of that happening and then are you at war you are at war with these guys and you're losing are you at war with them you are and you also don't have much manpower so I'm gonna risk it when the army gets up and the army gets into position, I'll risk an, an invasion. You're not starving, so that's good. Um, 
I do want to sort out my stability, so I would maybe be spending the next bit on sacrifice to the gods. Because in case Cassandra, uh, not Cassandra, Philip dies. He shouldn't, but just in case he does. Integrating, we're getting a bit closer, so we'll have that little bit there, but not for much. It won't be for a little while. Um, how far are you off? You're fairly close. I'm going to risk it while you're still at war, and there's a huge gift there. And now they've taken a huge loss in, right, so we're going to try it. We've stopped getting grain from somewhere. I'd like to get in. Uh, I won't get, oh, I can't because we don't have enough power. Brilliant. Um, just take that. And what have you got here? Boats. Send this lot of boats up to here. <laughs> and I've got the fortress so it takes all the nice little bits around it. Perfect. As I planned. Right now we can do some trading. And I can get I can get grain, so I will Oh no I can't. No, I can't. Yeah, wine would be next. Livestock is the other one I can get. Iron. I can't get iron actually. Um get it from Chaldeepi. There we go. Now we can recruit in our capital as well, heavy infantry. Because I'd like that. Um, I'd like to send you north to deal with any of these guys. Um, yeah, hey, earlier we can have a quick, quick problem. So yeah, 38, they get in there. Mm. I just like how we've got this random little bit of land. So you at war with... Isuria now, aren't you? And with Egypt. Oh. We may see a change in power in the that part of the world. I'm going to go back and pick up this army. I'm not liking that it. it's just there on its own and it's not doing anything when it could be helpful somewhere else. And there we go. We'll take the games and do something with them. And we won a battle which I'm not actually aware of. So, oh well. Good thing we this guy's really good. And he's just killing Celts. Keep killing Celts. Celts have no no lives. They have no rights. Something like that. That'll do. Um, go take that. Then keep doing stuff here. Starving population. Lysora. Actually, go over here. Fifty and five thousand manpower. They are in a pretty rough shape, as is Byzantium. Oh, Byzant. Uh, not Byzantium. Thrace. Which does hold Byzantium, is in a very rough state. It's looking pretty nasty in that part of the world. So I will uh, just probably have to be focusing on these guys, who are pretty, pretty dual. Can I? Um. Yes. I'm just gonna pause. Oh, you won, I think. Or did you? I can't also do anything. Oh, they had a huge revolt. That's why. Oh, brilliant. Um, okay, so you come over here. What are we on income as well? 13. I may build a small army to keep you in place. Oh, I can't. Can't build any of them, obviously. Okay, we'll, we'll wait on that then. Because I may build just another army just to barbarians. Um, I'm just going to go with that. Barbarians over here. Okay. Oh, it's all kicking off now. Perfect time to be going to war, obviously. Um, we're victorious in that battle. This army's getting pretty beaten up, though. And it's now I'm going to deal with a siege. And we've got quite a few families that don't like us. I may build that army just to make them like me. Just to make them like me. Okay, and that's a region I didn't realise we could take. Um, right, okay, so you need to have a new general. I will get the... Oh, so annoying that we've got such bad generals. I'll put you in. Just to make you feel better about yourself. Um, that's a 12,000 army. It's going to deal with that. That's a big army we could deal with. Um, and then this, oh, they're just sinking into the sea very nicely. 
go over there. Greece needs a guy prepper lid, yep, yeah, that'll do. And that leaves us with just one family that hates us. Yay! Um, you look like you'll win that. So I'm gonna go up here. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 go take that. Oh, they pillaged? Oh, that's annoying. Right, we won that. And then you go and take that. Okay, we've got like a thousand. We have a thousand pounds. Some would say. I'm going to spend some of it on a fortress here to defend our northern borders. Now I'm going to spend a lot more on more troops. On another army. Which we will build here in Achaia. So that's six. And we will build another one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And then probably. Oh, not horse archers. Um, oh, did the cavalry have to come from up here? Well, I'll do that for now, and then I'll build the cavalry in a minute and um, to allow them to. Um, like, join. Okay, so we're just taking that for the jokes. Um, inspires the army. Inspirational. Brilliant. I guess that's good. I, I'm just guessing. <laughs> um, you need to all join together. Actually, do it there. We can't actually even... Um... Yeah, just take that, please. Please. Um... Destroy them. Very nice. Do you have Cassus Bell eyes on us? I've just thought. Yes, you actually do. So they could just declare war on me at any point. So I won't actually get any warning. Perfect. Oh, and they've just destroyed that place where the fortress was being built. Aren't you kind? Well, I'll sort that out in peacetime. I shouldn't have done that. But hey, I did. Right, anyway, so you... Come that. You're now the fifth stratus. Though there's like a million different fifth stratuses right now. So you become you're a therid. You're a therid. That sounds like an insult almost. Um don't know how, but it just sounds it should be. Um and then you can go down. Why are all these places just so awful for I don't know, for stuff. Um, I'm also not finishing off Thrace, which I sh really should be. So I could. Why can't I take this? Oh, because I don't hold it anymore. They've taken their capital back. Of course they have. We'll go down here, deal with their capital. Support the air. Don't know who the air is right now, but support him. Um, you're 5% attrition on all these. Go in here. Go kill him. You're going to have to join. You've got a disloyal... Who are you? Do I really care? I'll bribe you. Bribe you for some reason. Right, so you now join up all your armies. Recruit heavy cavalry. One, two, three, four. So that's going to take you to um, 17. And then we want to do one, two, three, another 20. So that takes you to 20. And then we put you in the north. And we are getting close to the end of the episode. So we will be coming to a close very soon. But I'm going to try and wrap up a bit more of this, this battle. Um, let's just put you there so you cut off the crossing. That would help. Can you just... Oh, it's so annoying, the Thracians. Just die. Die already! Go in there, and you go in there. Go and deal with these guys. They're so annoying. I just want to take... Like, to here... In, inland. Does Thrace hold this? No, Aeolia does. Okay, that's okay. 
In one of my games, Thrace like holds lots of land over here, and I'm just like, oh no, I'm gonna. Tr I'd actually, I'd like to try and take that. I'm sound greedy, but I'd like to get onto the other side of the, um, of the Bosphorus. No, not Bosphorus. Dardanelles. That's the one. Dardanelles. I knew it had a name. It had a fancy old name. Why can't I take this then? Why are you bugging out? Isn't oh no, this is just like a col I can just colonize it. Wow. That's just someone that needs colonizing. Um and we'll send you this way. Deal with these. Um and then national commerce, I think. That should be very useful. Um can you go take that? You go take that. And then we should win this war very nicely. And we're gonna look awfully weird with this random bit down here, but hey, we lost Skodra. I thought we would. God damn it. Oh well. Um, I don't really want to fight. And that's also, wow, these are all just, I'm going to just pull you back because you're just like starving for no reason. You pull back to there. We're going to get peace imminent. I think it's going to be, oh, not imminent. It's like another thousand days. It's like two years, man. That's more than two years. That's like th three and a bit years. For the state. Yeah, gain a marketplace. Sure, go for it. Go and take Skodra, please. Um, you go there. Nine against six. Oh, actually, I don't know if I really want to do that. But hey, you take that. And then we'll get to about here. And I'll call it off because I'm not really that bothered about this bit. Adrissia I might take because that would be quite handy. But hey, we'll see. Rome wants to trade with us, sure. But Rome is getting absolutely crushed. Wow. Rome just gets crushed. Um, and religion. Let me sort you out. Boost. Stability. So that's good. Um, we killed him. Uh, yes, it's more stable. I know. Um... I'm gonna demand your support for the air, because that could be you could be very useful later on. And you need to go and rebuild your navy and get two more. <laughs> We're getting like so many random people to rule our lands. Okay, so we've done that. You can come down here and do that. Um, hurry up. I'd like to just take these two bits. Come on. Just keep going up. Beat Thrace. I mean, Egypt is like not even bothering. Neither the Seleucids. Seleucids are having a big problem, actually. They've got revolts. That's sick. That's good. We need to see them having more revolts and more. And Phrygia could do with having a few as well. So we'll rebuild the navy, and you go there, I guess. Yeah, I'll I'll deal you with you. Go for it. And there we go. We've won that. We've won re won that battle, and those those other battles. Right, you can just stay there. You need to just quickly deal with this, and then we can call it a day. We can call it a day on the expansion and the episode. Oh yes, definitely. Our uh, manpower is shockingly bad right now. We need to we need to actually spend money on training camps. To be honest, we need to do more. We do more with that. There we go. That's as much money as can be spent on manpower. We won another battle. I think Thrace has probably got better man. Oh no, it's not got quite better manpower than me, but it's getting close. <laughs> it's getting very close to it's having better manpower than me. Um, research or Governor of Greece? I'm going to side with the Governor of Greece, pal. The researchers do not really care about your loyalty. You can't harm me. Right, sue for peace. Take your lands. Take your lands. Oh, I'm going to have to do this bit by bit, aren't I? I do want that bit, thank you. I want that bit. And I want that bit. And I want that bit. Thank you, God. I don't want to have to do this. Oh, I can't take that much. How much can I take then? How much can I take? 
I can get just across. I'll take it right now. Um, what would I give for that? Oh, they'd, they'd happily let me have that, though. But not that. And not that. And not that. Well, what you'd let me have... No, you wouldn't let me have anything. Um, how much money would you let me have? Okay, that much. Eh, I'm happy with that. Would you let me release any nations? No, no. Oh, of course you wouldn't, because you're it's Egypt holding it, of course. Yeah, um, now I'll let it remain unscathed. Ianthia, oh, pardon me, needs a governor. Which we'll have to sort out soon. Um, yeah, you go there, and you can come down here. And then... And the navy needs to pick up one of these armies. I'm going to make it the fifth stratus to go across to Anios, somewhere like that. Anyway, right, let's quickly just find a governor and then I will call it a day. Charonid. Yeah, you're good enough. Um, characters. Where's a Charonid? Charonid, Charonid, Charonid. There. Grand new citizenship. And now you're in charge of there. So, guys, if you've enjoyed that episode, please remember to like and subscribe. Sorry for it prolonging, but I'd like to just finish that war off. Get us onto a, a nice new uh, campaign in the next episode, basically. And hopefully we can uh, now take the fight to Phrygia. They are looking pretty weak themselves. And we can do that, I'm pretty, pretty sure. So, if you've enjoyed, please remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, bye for now.